thank all of the elected officials who are here tonight for taking time out of your evening. And I know some of you have council meetings and you know things you need to do. So thank you very much because these are your constituents too. So we want to make sure that uh, you have an opportunity to talk. And of course, all of you who have, may have traveled really, really far to get here in traffic, we really appreciate that you're here. And it's talk to me or Congressman Calvert, but this is a joyous occasion that nobody's going to fight, okay? So everyone knows that there, Nico is here. And then our five kids, I'll just say them all at once, Angelo, Paolo, Sophia, Rocco, and Carla, they're all here somewhere. You'll see them running around, they're all here, anyway, they're my biggest fans, I couldn't do this without them, so thank you guys for coming here. And then, of course, their friends, let's see, Kathleen and Maddie, I can't forget the girlfriends. They're here too, I'll be in trouble by my sons. Well, thank you for stopping on by, uh, Miss Melendez. Uh, how are you doing yourself? I'm wonderful. We're here at our Christmas party, and everybody's ready for Christmas and celebrating Hanukkah, and it's wonderful. Come talk to me or Congressman Calvert, but this is a joyous occasion that nobody's here. So, what we had on the first day of session in Sacramento was uh, the Democrats introduced a resolution basically denouncing President-elect Trump and his immigration policies that he has laid out. And my position was he's not elected yet, he hasn't done anything yet, and his policies are very clear in that he said he was targeting the illegal immigrant po population who are criminals, who are terrorizing neighborhoods. And I don't know anyone who is okay with someone terrorizing their neighborhood. So I stood up in his defense, and I certainly hope that the federal government, when they say they're going to crack down on the sanctuary cities, I hope they mean that. Come talk to me or Congressman Calvert, but this is a joyous occasion that nobody's... So with any elected official, you are never going to agree with them on every issue. It's just like a marriage. You never agree with your spouse on every issue. That same thing in politics. I think everyone needs to give him an opportunity to see how he's going to govern. Uh, I, if he got elected by the people. This is what America wanted. This is who they elected. So I think we owe him the opportunity to show us exactly what types of things he is going to do to make America great again. Come talk to me or Congressman Calvert, but this is a joyous occasion that nobody's... When I first got to the assembly, uh, it was a supermajority then, two for the Democrats. Uh, two years later, they lost that supermajority. Now it's back again. So it's something I am familiar with. And I will tell you that though people think that we are at each other's throats all the time, uh, that's not true, sometimes, but not all the time. I've had a lot of success working with Democrats across the aisle on bills. We've been very successful. Believe it or not, there are things that we agree on. And so for me, I, I focus on the things that I know we agree on. Uh, some things we're never going to agree on, and you know, that's just the way it is. But we can't get things done. And, I'll just continue to work that way, just as I have for the past four years. Come talk to me or Congressman Calvert, but this is a joyous occasion that nobody's in. As a state legislator, and certainly my views from a national level are different, as a state legislator, really the most important thing to Californians is job security. And, and creating more jobs. And the government does not do that. The government does not create jobs. But the private sector does. So our job is to just make that environment such that the private sector can create the jobs and just get out of their way. So my focus is in my district and across the state of California, making sure that it's an environment that's right, that people can just work. That's all they want to do. They want to take care of their family. They want to set some money aside, be able to pay their bills, maybe go on a vacation. Whatever it is, they just, they don't want to be stressed every time the bills come in and their paycheck lands in their mailbox. Come talk to me or Congressman Calvert, but this is a joyous occasion that nobody's... I think this idea has been thrown about before. Uh, I, I think it'll pass, to be honest with you. Maybe it won't, you know, maybe it will, uh, I don't know, gain steam. But for right now, I think California is going to stay exactly as it is as far as uh, not being split up and being one state. Although sometimes it does feel a little like Southern California and Northern California are different countries. But I have a feeling we're going to stay this way for a while. But to those who feel like they want to uh, succeed, succeed from the whole state, uh, I would say, you know, let's talk and figure out if there is a way to fix what ails California before we do something quite so drastic, but 
you know, we listen to all ideas. Um, so again, thank you for being here. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is you celebrate. Happy and merry, and um, enjoy yourself.